My name is Soraya Place and I work with the Catawba County Library System. I work with uh, the Hispanic community and um, I'm originally from El Salvador. Uh, I'm George Place and uh, I'm the director of the Catawba County Cooperative Extension Service and I'm originally from Kansas City, Missouri. When, when I was nine, my dad died and uh, my mom became a single mom and um, she had five kids and I am in the middle. And my mom used to be very um, community oriented. She used to serve a lot, the family, the community, whoever needed, she would be there to help. And I just remember always thinking like, I wanna be like my mom, I wanna be the savior. I wanna go and do whatever I can to help people. But it's not that easy, right? You just, you just can't do everything. But, uh, but I remember her always teaching us Go and help whenever you can. So it started there with my mom. In 2001, we had a big um, earthquakes, and my mom said, okay, so we had to go, and I remember just her loading her five kids, putting bread and potatoes and plantains, and take it to the village because everybody lost their houses. So things like that would go and just do. Uh, it was the normal. It wasn't something that my mom would think, would think that she would put us in danger. It's just everybody just went and helped. So eventually, um, I just started to do the same thing, little by little, just small things. And I started to volunteer um, until we joined the Peace Corps. And we, we tried to do the same thing. And now being back, we're trying just to uh, serve the community and help with whatever we can. You know, I'll tell you, I actually, growing up, I grew up in the city didn't grow up farming. We didn't really have a garden. I can remember a couple summers I grew tomatoes with my dad. Uh, I went to school thinking I was gonna go to medical school and uh, didn't get into med school and um, ended up dropping out of school for a while, changing directions, spent a lot of time backpacking, found myself out in New Mexico. Long story short, I realized I wanted to try Peace Corps and I needed to finish a college degree. So I did that in biology and and went to El Salvador, which is where I met Soraya. And I was an agroforestry volunteer with um, the Peace Corps starting in 2001. So it was right after the earthquakes that Soraya was uh, talking about. And that was where I realized what I had been studying in science all of a sudden had this application. And working directly with farmers, I didn't know anything about farming. But there were simple things that were just pieces of information that were not reaching farmers. Maybe the appropriate variety for the disease that was plaguing their area, for example. And by being that information intermediary, I saw the power of connecting farmers to the solutions that they needed. And all of a sudden, farm families that were barely struggling to grow enough corn to feed themselves, all of a sudden were producing a cash crop of tomatoes and they could send all their kids to school, and even uh, this particular farmer's wife could buy the medicine that she needed. That was very impactful for me. And so right when we finished, well, when I, I finished my Peace Corps tour in El Salvador, we got married, we came back to the States, and I applied for graduate school and found myself at NC State. So that's really how we came to find uh, North Carolina as our home. So um, coming back from the Peace Corps, uh, I remember George sending me a message saying, oh, the library is hiring. Uh, working with the library to me was very important because my values align with what the library does, which is bringing the community together or empowering the community. The extension service, there's, there's an extension office in every county in North Carolina. And this office works in agriculture, food, and 4-H programming. So there's a lot of different ways that we get to work with communities in Catawba County. For example, uh, I might go in and, and have a list of, of things that I'm hoping to get done in the office. First thing, I might have a farmer call and say, we've got something weird going on in the field. There's a big patch of dead plants. I need to know, should I be spraying my entire field for something? Or do we need to dig it up? What do we need to do? Really, as an agent, I drop everything, drive out, and we start working to diagnose what that problem is, sending off samples, and as quick as possible, get that farmer a recommendation. Because we have a big goal of not only getting people healthier, 
but also uh, lifting up our farming community. So how do we keep our agricultural heritage and our open lands and everything that's special about Catawba County, but at the same time grow the economy and make this a place where people realize, wow, I can go up there and live and be a part of this. Um, I think that my favorite thing is the uh, Spanish speaking community that we have. I feel like we are, uh, Catawba County becomes not just uh, friends, but it, it is like a big family that you're building. Mm -hmm. Everybody's connected with everybody. I could say all the outdoor activities, all the hiking, all the great places to visit and enjoy nature, but if you don't have people to do that with, you're only gonna be so happy. I think what makes us really content in this community is all the cool groups of people that you can do things with and connect with. Mm -hmm. I agree, community, I think. Yeah, is, definitely. Is what we, uh, we really enjoy community. It, oh, yeah. it, in every different, different aspects, we have different people that we know from different places, uh, but community I think is the, uh, the things that make us really happy.